The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the uh, Power Trading Hour. And as always, it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here at this time, when I'm here. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, I'm going to have to say it now, because when I moved to Kentucky... My friends uh, stole all my shoes, said I wouldn't need them. But they also gave me a uh, birthday card because when I was moving, it was right around my birthday. And I still have the card. But what it says is, do you know why uh, uh, the, to uh, the uh, toothbrush was, uh, was uh, invented and named in Kentucky? If it was named anywhere else, it would be called the teeth brush. I just thought of that. 877-927-6648 to voice your opinion now. Path at TFNN.com. If you're looking for uh, maybe a stock, take a look at it. Give me a little bit more color of what you're looking for if you're in it, uh, what you want to do with it. Uh, but uh, eh, I'm kind of thinking that we've got some fairly decent lows to be buying out here. Um, I've got some stocks testing. You know, one I actually bought today. I think it's going to test the lows. Was I right? I'll have to look at it later. Uh, I think it was going to test the volume on maybe a fourth of what it did just a little while ago and before it took off. So um, there's a lot of stocks out here. There's a lot of big ETFs people are selling. Some stocks actually, this is where you can start uh separating the wheat from the chaff certainly uh very interesting uh any close above uh 45.96 would be fairly significant today mostly because i think uh when we look at the uh volume especially the uh, yeah the cboe volume uh we're only doing about uh, 7.4 billion shares now uh, going into about twice that uh when we came down before so is it uh, massive selling on a epic scale of biblical proportions? I'm going to win the award for mixed metaphors once again this year. But no, there isn't a bunch of juice. What we do have some very concentrated selling in some ETFs. I suspect we all know where, where those are headed or who's uh, probably taking the brunt of them. But there were a lot of stocks that had sky-high PEs. They've come back now. Some of them are ready to buy. A lot of them are not. That's why they call it a stock market. Um, but it's really a market of stocks. And uh, like I said, I think this year and this entire year is not going to be probably playing the indexes as much as finding uh, fast and weak horses to uh, go long and go short. Uh, again, 877-927-6648. Uh, okay, uh, what else is going on? Yeah. Uh, let's go back here and look at the indexes. We're off 74 on the S&P cash. Uh, since we got below 4,600, there just hasn't been a lot. Uh, on the Dow, you're off uh, 481. Uh, kind of interesting that every other time I've seen the Dow off real big, it's always run to 750 or 800. It didn't do that today. Uh, NASDAQ, uh, bigger selling, down 313. Russell's off 56. Crude oil's up a buck 51. Gold's down three bucks. Um, man, they've been taking big swings at gold. Uh, uh, down 10 bucks pre market, up 10 bucks pre market. It's kind of just settling out here, but generally after a weekend where a lot of times people park uh, money in gold, uh, not a whole lot happening in it, which I think is actually fairly bullish. Uh, I like sitting on it right now. Um, not exactly sure why it's starting to perform or outperform a lot. 
but uh, it certainly is. Uh, other things uh, going on in the market. Uh, we talked a great deal about it, um, but uh, eh, what do we have here? Maybe a little bit of history, and then we'll get into a lot of charts because there are a lot to go through. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. Well, I didn't update this for today, but uh, Tuesday, of course, we had Goldman Sachs uh, fairly weak. Uh, off 7%, which is one of the biggest moves I've seen in a long time. They are really talking everything down. My guess is that uh, the reason that they talk things down is either they're short something or they want to buy something. Uh, anyway, uh, Interactive Brokers, uh, Goldman Sachs, J.B. Hunt, uh, J.B.H.T. Is that right? Yeah. Eh, pretty much flat. They've got a lot of business. Uh, it looked fairly good about what uh, they had to say today. Uh, others uh, getting ready uh, to be have their turn in the barrel tomorrow uh, are uh, Bank of America, ASML. Of course, uh, that one's kind of come back a little bit on uh, them uh, – the West not really wanting them to sell a lot of their $150 million machines. Um, other things like that. But, uh, eh, didn't do much. Let's do our history. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 2005, the Airbus 380, the world's largest commercial jet, nicknamed the Super Jumbo, was unveiled at a ceremony in Toulouse, France. According to the data from FlightRadar24.com, 24 out of the 254 A380s are built or currently operational. Uh, since day one, these things had massive amounts of problems from breaking runways. Uh, there have been more accidents with uh, A380s on the tarmac hitting other planes than any other plane in history. These things go out and wipe them out uh, left and right, uh, which has uh, kind of led to them not being uh, or let them uh, be persona non grata. Um in many airports uh, for breaking the runways and hitting other planes. Of course, uh, some of the newer uh, planes coming out from Boeing that have longer wings, uh, like the 380, uh, are having foldable wings come out, kind of like uh, the aircraft uh, uh, carrier type uh, planes where the wings fold up about halfway. Uh, in the, uh, uh, the successor to the uh, 777, uh, the last 14 feet of each wing is going to fold up. So they'll be tall, but they'll be no more wider than the rest of the planes out there. Uh, as I said, uh, delivery problems, a lot of thoughts that everybody wanted to put everybody on one big plane. Uh, the answer is when you lose one big plane, you get really wiped out behind the curve. Uh, never really worked uh, like everybody thought. There was a reason why the 747 wasn't being updated by uh, Boeing. And uh, the actual cost, uh, the uh, long haul 777 uh, could fly people for about uh, five eighths the price of the 385. Only 24 still flying early. We'll be back after this. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We return, still kind of hovering right around the the, the line uh, between the pit of despair and uh, a little bounce off 76 on the S&P cash. But there's not a lot of volume so far, at least uh, on the CBOE consolidated volume tape. Um, but we shall see. Uh, things going on in the market today. A um, little bit of a bounce for Kohl's. Uh, if you're thinking about shorting it, I probably wouldn't. A lot of activists, investors, and buyout rumors got to $52.11 today. I don't know what there is in it, but this thing's probably going to be active for the next six months uh, as uh, they try to uh, uh, kick out the current CEO or buy it out or something. Um why um, most of the retailers, good retailers like Macy's and others, have had some really nice uh, years. Uh, Kohl's has not. And uh, it's been under uh, activist thumb for a couple of years already. And they're kind of uh, losing faith in this and figuring they're going to cash out big uh, as a sellout or turning it into, I heard this today, another uh, land bank kind of thing like uh, Sears and Kmart, where you just sell the land and make a bunch of money real quick and at least cash out. But, uh, you know, it's kind of like uh, other things that I've heard before, kind of like Twitter, where they were going to make a bunch of money on newsletters. But, of course, they were only going to let newsletters that no one wanted to read uh, and ones uh, and make sure that no uh, that not to publish any one that anybody wanted to actually read. Uh, Stack Exchange is the is the place these days uh very interesting anyway uh as i said before yes uh 4596 and above is kind of that magic uh line and i don't think we have the volume i think uh and another thing is you know occasionally when i'm not doing much i will turn on cnbc it happens maybe a couple of times a year i wanted to see what people were saying today in fact i think i looked for a couple minutes last week just to see how 
uh, one-sided the, the the ship was because the either all yelling that uh, the world's going uh, uh, like Jack and the Beanstalk uh, to the sky, or they're all ready to slit their wrists. Today was slitting wrists, which is almost always a good sign uh, that you're probably fairly close uh, to a buy signal, uh, doing just the opposite of what everybody on Wall Street uh, thinks that they should do. Uh, or they're, they're telling you to do on CNBC. So I look at it, not a lot of volume. Um, like I said, some of these things testing some very long time pullbacks. Uh, but that's one of them. Uh, let's take a look at the Goldman Sachs. And why you have to call them the is beyond me. But it's been a thing. It is a thing. Uh, they had pretty much uh, the kind of volume you expect going through the previous low of July 19th last year. That low had 4.4 uh, 4 million shares. Uh, you had uh, 10 million shares. Now, the proof of the pudding uh, will be in the, over the next couple of days. But what I want to watch is if these guys start getting options or handing out options to some of the heads of these big broker dealers, you know the jig is up. And they're talking the company down so that they can get uh, options at a cheaper price. Uh, the squid. Uh, is silver telling us something? I don't think as much as gold is. But, uh, yeah, I think a lot of people read a lot more into silver than silver actually tells them. So, yeah. Uh, Okay. The squid. I, I, I thought maybe something was in there about the squid games. Because there's going to be a season two of squid games, which I don't know. There's another movie that I saw that's very good from uh, South Korea. I'm trying to remember the name of it now. It was subtitled, too. Eh, I'll think of it eventually. Uh, let's see if we're still hanging out here at this level when we start talking about other things. Eh, 4585, 4586. Okay, let's see what else we have out here. And the first question is, uh, Planeteer ever going to uh, find a bottom? Um, I mean, you had some big volume as you went through the $17 level. You shouldn't have had that. Uh, you've got a little bit more energy if you look at my power law vector indicator on the way down than you have on the way up. A lot of that was the last uh, week where you actually did see it start to break down. Um, long term, yeah, I think it's still a good company. Uh, again, um, if you're looking for this to have uh, big trading days, it's not the rest of the world. As I said, this is much one that... Uh, uh, if you want to see how it trades, just look at Booz Hamilton. They're another company just like Planeteer. Planeteer, Planeteer, whatever. Um, PLTR. Anyway, uh, it's down here. There is a lot of volume. No. Uh, but again, uh, this is not a company where the CEO can come out and start defending it, talking about all the top secret deals he's doing with people around the world and in the United States. And uh, again, maybe you hear a little bit about a contract or two uh, for its retail business, but this is all double top secret. Uh, uh, we'd have to kill you if we told you kind of top secret stuff. So it's one that you probably want to see uh, sit on for years. And it's not one where you're probably going to see a lot of technical analysis do incredibly great. There just isn't the feedback of what's going on in the company uh, back to the market. And that's the business that they have chosen. Oh, I love the uh, I love that line from the Godfather. It's the business that we have chosen. Um, I think that was uh, wasn't that uh, the character when they were down in Cuba and they were getting attacked, or everybody was getting attacked when Castro overthrew the country. I want to say, yeah. Michael, we're bigger than U.S. Steel. 
guy was like a famous acting coach, although I only saw him a few times. Uh, 877-927-6648. So do we have anything else here going on? Um, wanted to look at a few other things. Two, 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 two. Okay. We have it here. Okay. Okay, question uh, on a stock we haven't talked about uh, in a long time, digital realty. Uh, will high interest rates change anything with this one? Uh, well, you broke out, never got the volume. It came right back into the trading range. These guys are really starting to focus uh, more and more every day. Well, I had to sneeze, so we'll have to talk about that when we return. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, first, uh, another question here in the band is... Uh, Thoughts on Netflix? Uh, is it a buy here and raising prices? I did spend... Uh, about 12 years in the belly of the beast um, selling uh, technology for uh, um, animation, television, Hollywood, special effects kind of things. 
And uh, I have to tell you, I have a little bit of insight, and part of that insight is uh, costs. Um, in uh, Variety, which is the magazine of Hollywood, uh, I think on Friday they said uh, an amazing fact. Uh, Fifteen years ago, there were f- about 60 scripted shows uh, that were available um, from anything from uh, HBO and Showtime and all that. Um, we broke th- uh, last week, um, we broke 600 shows. So I don't think that there's even a chance uh, for serialized thing. We're not talking movies. I'm talking just about ongoing shows with multiple episodes. 600 English language shows right now in production. Can you imagine even trying to figure out and just read the headlines or what the names of these 600 shows are? There's way too much stuff. Uh, A lot of it's focused. Netflix has done a pretty good job. But uh, the cost to get anything good has gone up dramatically. If you're a good writer and you've had a uh, uh, worked on some uh, hits in the past, uh, you're making some fairly good wood these days. There's a lots of problems with even just getting a sound stage. They're using them nights and weekends, something that they would never have done before, and they're paying up to do it. Um, I'm going to say that there are so many different opportunities, and a lot of what they used to do was really good series, kind of like you just have HBO for that one thing. And the problem is they can't leave it alone. Disney can't leave the the uh, they had a finally had one good uh, series that people were willing to pay for, and they can't w- bother th- without molesting it. I think that there's a, a thing where these executives just can't leave success alone. They've got to turn something good into something bad if they can try. Of course, the Star Wars series have all been uh, whiffs. That isn't uh, something that Netflix has done. I mean, bought the big series or that kind of thing. But uh, the whole industry as a whole, there's far too much product. My guess is that the opposite is going to happen, and that is that people are going to start dropping prices, not raising prices like Netflix has done. I think that uh, a lot of people that were on the edge were waiting for something worth watching on Netflix. Um, you know, the only things I ever see that I want to watch that are on Netflix, which I do not subscribe to, uh, but I have a channel I subscribe to on YouTube where there's a fairly good uh, movie reviewer that goes through all the stuffs on there. I just pick and choose it. And generally, it's deep enough that you can get it for a couple bucks if you want to watch it. But uh, I don't see that there's anything long term in this other than a lot of pain and suffering until you shake out about 300 of these shows. And... I think that's going to affect Netflix. You're going to be able to go from Netflix to HBO to uh, Discovery to Disney to all these others as long as it's a uh, monthly subscription. And again, with all the stuff on there, the problem is that it's almost all derivative of each other. There aren't a lot of things that actually are new or exciting or different. Um, if you're a young kid, maybe you can watch all the horrible um, comic book stuff where everything blows up. But I think even those folks are done with the with the uh, DC and uh, other stuff. I just don't think there's a lot of call. Maybe the big tentpole stuff in the theater, maybe one or two of those a year really gets it. But uh, I don't know. The series about uh, some guy that shoots arrows. Everywhere, Ugh. you really is that really the way you want to spend your time? I think maybe for kids, but I mean the decision on most of these things I saw was about adults buying it. So I am not a big uh, fan uh, on that. Uh, yeah, there are some occasionally good uh, uh, documentaries, but uh, there are, those are not made by. Uh, Netflix, almost all of those are Sundance 
uh, things where they go and bid them out at Sundance and hopefully get their money back. But uh, again, only certain kinds of movies are allowed at Sundance. Uh, if your uh, movie is of not of the uh, extreme left position, you don't get in. So, you know, if if it doesn't have a political bend, then you can. But a lot of these weird movies that you see show up on Netflix and Disney as documentaries are all there. There's a reason why. And there's a business model. And it means that you have to get into uh, uh, Sundance to really uh, work on it. So I'm not a big fan generally on a lot of the documentaries they have. A lot of them are nothing more than thinly veiled propaganda pieces. But uh, probably can't go wrong with Leonard Skinner. Eh, that's nice. 877-927-6648. Anyway, uh, kind of a more of a big shotgun approach to Netflix and Disney and those. And that is there's too much. Um does it have some support down here? Yes. We talked about it for months uh, that we were thought it was coming back down here. Uh, it was really a tough one to short. I never was able to get one off on it. But uh, it did have a fairly big pullback. Uh, Jerry says, congratulations on your call that uh, uh, Tesla would... Uh, Never have a self-driving car by 2022. You said that in 2019. And, uh, well, thanks, Jerry, for the remembering all that way back. I don't remember exactly when I said I knew it. But uh, Jerry brings up uh, me talking about edge cases and programming and that uh, there are just too many edge cases uh and uh, Tesla's not going to see it, plus all the other things that they said that they were going to do that they never did. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah. one of the reasons why I'm pretty sure that this market probably has something left in it, uh, because if it didn't, uh, Tesla would probably be down in the uh, 900 or 800s by now. Uh, I think it's going to happen. Uh, you've got some good topping action in Tesla. But you don't have the massive failure where this thing's going to give it up. Uh, and it will when the rest of the market's there. As I said before, watching very closely, uh, I spy with my little eye a 4595 on the last tick here on the S&P cash. As I said, uh, that is pretty much the line. Uh, close above that is actually fairly bullish. We're going to be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we're back, uh, who's this? Uh, Sarah uh, says, you are actually buying stuff. I was buying stuff this morning. Uh, I've been buying calls on the pullback on a couple of stocks that I think will do well into Friday in the daily newsletter. Um, probably going to get a fairly big swing, mostly because uh, uh, we even on Friday, we were down on a fairly light volume. Uh, this is yet another test of light volume. Uh, there's something I'm working on now uh, in which I think we're probably going to get another bunch of signals uh, tonight on that also tell us uh, that we found it. Uh, my sector oscillators uh, pretty much uh, say that we've got a washout. Now, does it mean we go back up to 20, uh, 4750 on the S&P cash? Probably no. Uh, is the NASDAQ probably still going to be a little bit weak? Yes. There's, it's not. It's a two-way trading market, not a quite bear market yet. We need to go down a little bit further, but I suspect uh, with the uh, self-mutilation I saw on CNBC at the noon hour that probably it's a little overblown at this time. When those guys, uh, when I popped in for five minutes last week, they were all saying it was going back up to highs and. Uh, 5,200. Now they're all saying it's going to 3,500. I didn't believe them when they were going to the top uh, and didn't buy anything uh, that way. I mean, thinking we had a big run to the highs. And when they're uh, depressed um, or manic or depressed, like today, I think we're probably fairly close to a low. Uh, I see that in the technical indicators. Uh, but generally, uh, doing the opposite of what most people do is probably a pretty good thing in the markets. And it may have gone on a little bit longer today, but uh, I think maybe that was because uh, people kind of piling on a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I like my positions here. I've got several days to go and uh, fairly low exposure. Uh, and probably an easy way to stop out if it is uh, going to go the opposite way. But right now, we're sitting at the Rubicon. And if you don't know what that is, that's where it's a river where you cross it. You pretty, pretty much are, are uh, committed to going forward. 877-927-6648. Uh, yes, options do kind of really point to much higher. So... Uh, I've been slowly buying calls uh, from the week. Now, you, next week, yeah, maybe we could pop higher, maybe up to 4,700. Uh, we're kind of still, option market makers still think we could have a 100-point rally. 
Uh, maybe that changes before the end of the day. But, uh, you know, the NASDAQ's a little weak, but yeah, everybody's probably piling on, on short here. You can have a very quick, very sharp rally. And that's generally where calls in a bad market can really pay off well during options expiration week. Okay, other things. Uh, we talked about Kohl's, talked about the Goldman Sachs. Uh, question about uh, uh, is Spotify a, a potential buy on a huge uh, trading range here? I'm not exactly sure. I have seen all the news about uh, people trying to cancel Joe Rogan. Uh, probably Spotify, if they're going to have a business, that is going to be something like podcasts. Uh, I think it's a better fit than trying to do newsletters like Twitter did. Um, unsure about uh, uh, if uh, Spotify is going to, uh, I think probably it'd be the end of them if they fired Joe Rogan. So I, I just don't think they can afford to pay $100 million for 100 million views. Uh, every couple of weeks uh, to his show and then not get anything from it. And he's got a pretty much ironclad contract. He spent about five months ironing it out between five different people or six different people. I can't remember now. Uh, got the money he wanted and got the contract and they can't tell him what to do. So he can continue doing whatever he wants and the people that are squealing uh, they can continue squealing. I don't think it's going to do any good. There's a reason why somebody's watching 100 million people. When you think about it, you know, you get a cable news station, it gets a million, two million views. Um, he gets three hours and he gets 100 million. It, there may be some decent money in that um, for advertising, even if uh, he is a little off the beaten path. But... Uh, I'm more of a free speech kind of guy, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, the people that uh, uh, think that uh, they shouldn't let have free speech, uh, yeah, those are the people that are probably fairly evil and most likely wrong if their arguments won't stand up to any kind of scrutiny. 877-927-6648. You still have uh, three minutes, but yeah, I. you know what? You know, weirder things have happened. I think it's a little different than XM Satellite uh, with, uh, uh, what was his name? The disc jockey from the shock jock from New York. Uh, uh, maybe somebody in the den can say it. Uh, yeah, Howard Stern. But <laughs> think of it, man, he used to be talked about all the time. Now you hardly hear about him at all. And that's, you know, if you go to some kind of walled garden uh, where they're going to charge you 15 bucks a month to listen to Howard Stern, I think that's completely different than, uh, you know, I think he's got like maybe 10 million. So 100 million people selling advertising or 10 million people uh, giving you a uh, uh, 10 bucks a month. Um, I think the 100 million is probably worth more. And I'm not exactly sure if Stern even has 10 million anymore. Maybe a whole lot less. So you just don't hear much about it anymore. Uh, let's see what else we have. You can email me at path at tfnn.com. As we continue to watch, we're there. We're kind of the big engine that could during this, uh, or the little engine that could. I think I can. I think I can. As I said, probably a fairly big signal out here, at least for the next week. Uh, 4598, everything above 4596 on the S&P cash is gravy. And uh, not moving quickly here, but again, that's how these turns uh, a lot of times uh, that you just can't buy are, and that's that no one believes them. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, pretty much it's all gone. I was an IMAS fan too. Okay, what else do we have out here? Uh, of course, a uh, question about lattice semiconductors. And uh, is it uh, close enough to Xilinx or Altera? 
Um, we're going to be going to break. Um, we'll take a look at Lattice when we come back. They're a little different, but they're uh, in that same business. And uh, Roy wants to know uh, what they actually, what are they out there, uh, which got bought out by uh, Intel, uh, Xilinx, and uh, Lattice, what they do. We'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Six oh three is the last pick I see. So I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Uh, Lattice Semiconductor, um, Altera, which got bought out by Intel, and uh, Xilinx, which I think is trying to be bought out. Uh, these guys all make what's known as programmable logic. That means that there's a little bit of uh, memory, uh, like a USB thumb drive, uh, on, inside the chip. And in that chip, there's enough uh, room for them to tell uh, what ends up being a bunch of Lego parts and pieces in the chip, uh, how to connect themselves. So there's a bunch of logics, uh, logic in it. And you probably don't know you even have it. But there's a reason why your modem uh, and your uh, routers 
take about a minute, minute and a half to get up and running. And that is that uh, every time you turn them on, off or on, uh, they have to take that memory and reconfigure that chip. Uh, so programmable logic gives you the ability to make a, a kind of a take different parts and pieces in a chip and hot, kind of hotwire them together. And the big thing is, uh, compared to like a processor, uh, is a processor has to work on clock signals. If you're talking about something that's continually coming in and needs to be processed, uh, like a fast Fourier or program, uh, fast Fourier uh, conversion, uh, analog to digital kind of things, a uh, bunch of other reasons why. Um, or it has to be amazingly fast, like your router. You don't want everything being slowed down to be checked for. Uh, for uh, bad stuff. Um, programmable logic is it. A lattice is in the very low end of that uh, business. Uh, Altera and um, Xilinx are in the higher part of it. We'll talk more about this tomorrow. Um, as I've said before, my, uh, the company I worked for uh, in the late 90s for about five years running was the biggest user of Altera chips in the world. Uh, there was a specific reason why. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll be back tomorrow like a bad rash.